All right, let's get started with our course. And the first thing you're going to need for this project is Xcode 12 I'm using currently. If you are watching this in the future, you don't have to have Xcode 12. As long as you have Xcode 12 and up, you will be fine with this. Um, right now, while I'm recording, the Xcode 12 is still in beta version, so you cannot get it from App Store. But if you are watching this after October 2020, I think it will be available on App Store already. So if you are watching it before to October, let me show you how to get it. First, you have to have an Apple developer account. Once you log into your Apple developer account, it's developer.apple.com. And you will see this area here. Just go to the downloads on the left side, click on it. And this will show you all the beta software you can download. This, uh, there are two tabs here, operating system and application. We are interested in applications. Click on application and currently the available version of Xcode 12 is the beta 4. So download this if you haven't already and we are ready to start once you download. Another thing we need to have for our project to work is CocoaPods. If you don't know what CocoaPods is, is it's a library that allows us easily install dependencies for our Xcode projects. Uh, you are connecting third-party libraries to it using CocoaPods and it just magically puts all the things together for you so you don't have to manually install each library. If you want to check if you already have a CocoaPods on your machine or no, go to Terminal. And then you say gem which CocoaPods. And then the gem checks the version of CocoaPods you have. Currently, I have the version 193, which is apparently the latest version as of now. If for some reason you don't have these gems installed, you will have to install them. But um, all the Macs come pre-installed with this. Just inst uh, search for how to install gem on Mac. And then this will give you how to get these Ruby gems on your Mac. But as a, again, all the Macs are coming with pre-installed, so you don't have to do anything. If you don't have CocoaPods, and after running this doesn't show anything, it says command not found, there is a line here how to install it. You just say sudo gem install CocoaPods, or you can just copy this without a dollar sign and paste it in your terminal. It will ask you to put your administrator password here once you copy and paste it and you can put your administrator password and once you do that actually the password is not visible once you do that you will be uh, shown that how these CocoaPods are being installed and once you do that await all these uh, installation then you have the CocoaPods ready to go and the last thing you will need is a Google account so you can use it with Firebase because we are going to use Firebase uh, for, uh, for our backend which will allow us to register user to put all our data inside and also to send push notification using Firebase cloud messaging. So make sure you have a Gmail account and then you go to console.firebase.google.com and here if this is the first time you are in uh, Firebase, you will have only this uh, card here to add new project and uh, in our next lecture we are going to create our new Xcode project and also we are going to create the Firebase project for us. So the three things you need to have a CocoaPods, just download the Xcode uh, beta or current version whatever you have and have a Google Gmail account so you can use it with a Firebase.